and welcome to Vlogmas Day 14, 15, 16 and 17. I do apologise for not actually posting anything for the last few days, but, um, well, <laughs> things have just got away with me a little bit. Um, first, I would like to say thank you to everybody who left lovely comments on day 13. Um, I think it was Carol said, go home and have a sherry. <laughs> which is a very good idea i just don't like the sherry <laughs> but no i did um come home and obviously did go to bed a bit earlier that day and i had a good night's sleep so i woke up quite refreshed on um day 14 so <laughs> but things didn't go very well on day 14. now day 14 of vlogmas was a work day and i thought i'd press record on my camera and I hadn't, so I had no footage. So that was a bit disappointing. By the time I come to what I thought was edit at the end of the day, also I thought I would start filming sort of how I make the toadstool on day 14. And I don't know where my head was, but it wasn't in the right place that afternoon because I'd got the f I'd, i was using felt again and i got red felt for the the top of the toadstool white for the underneath and then i've got like a, a beige for the base and of course when i came to stitch the two parts together obviously it doesn't go together <laughs> i've been sat there stitching away all afternoon and um yeah, so I had to stop the filming there. Now, I have kept the footage separately. And I'm just going to have to wait and see if I can use parts of it. So if not, I might just start again from the beginning and film it uh, probably Tuesday or Wednesday. So there will it will be coming in a few days' time. So what I ended up doing, I thought, yeah, I'm getting a bit fed up here today. Um, I made myself a cup of tea and I cut out the felt in the right colours to go with each toadstool. So I did continue doing a little bit of sewing and they're all basically sat somewhere in a folder. I don't know if they're in here or up in the bedroom. <laughs> so yeah, so that was day day 14. A little bit, it was a bit of a shambles that day. But for the advent from Beyond the Pink Door on day 14, that was a digital, it's a digital download, it's not actually in the ebook. Um, and that is a lovely festive garland by Tamlin from Sewing on the Time. Now, if you follow sewing channels, you, you, you'll know, and if you don't, <laughs> you won't know of. But it's a lovely. Christmas tree garland basically so I am looking forward to just watching it and maybe doing something like that uh, at some point so we'll go on to vlogmas day 15 <laughs> and that was a work day and I didn't get any footage that day because I was quite busy in the shop and I've got quite a few jobs to do and what I'll do is I'll Put in the one or two pictures of the things I've actually listed on my website. So I had all I took all the photographs, do all the editing and things like that. That that really took up part of my day in between customers. So I have been quite busy on day fifteen. Um and day fifteen's advent. I've got it here, I've not opened it. <laughs> So that's a little package, so we shall see what we've got for day 15. Ooh, that's interesting. Oh, this is Generate by Jen Hogg. So I wonder what this can be. Ooh. Ah, that looks nice. Oh, lovely. It's a, a needle minder. Oh, that's lovely. That's the back of it. That's nice. 
under this. And it's going to be on the pink pillar on there. So you can always use a good needle minder. That will do that. That will do for my uh, one of my cross stitch projects. <coughs> Excuse me. That I've got planned for next year. I said I wasn't doing any new ones next year, but I will be. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that, that's day 15, oh day, day 15, no, we went, we actually went Christmas shopping that day, later on in the afternoon, and we went to, um, 